Hey, what's up guys? Bullseye here. Um, I have another haul for you, but I do want to thank everybody. We did finally reach the 200 subscriber mark, so we're going to have the 200 subscriber contest happening very soon. I'm going to be uh, doing some thinking and planning on how I want to do that. If you have any suggestions, feel free to comment them. Um, but yes, thanks again for getting there. It's a real milestone, guys, so... Um, I really appreciate that. I've got a couple, um, a few price books here. This one I picked up from my LCS, uh, new comic book today. And it is just a really cool variant. It's actually a reprinting of the series Ruins. Um, and this, I think, reprints issue one and two. And this is the variant for that reprinting. Um, I do love the the run. I've shown it before and talked about it before. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone esque version of the Marvel Universe. Like um, it would be cool to see it get some heat for uh, the new um, Doctor Strange movie, but I'm not saying it will. I don't know. Um, that was a ten dollar variant, but it the one I just showed. But um, I think my price was probably closer to five. Um, these were both five bucks, and these were just, uh, beautiful Silver Age books. This one especially, I thought the colors and condition was really nice. I love war books. I uh, can't really afford the Golden Age stuff yet, so I figured, uh, this was a must-grab. I just love the action on the cover. Um, it's P.T. Boat Skipper Captain Storm, and that's issue 11. And then I got um, Hulk 105. This cover might seem familiar. This is the cover Alex Ross um, did a cover swipe for uh, Immortal Hulk. But I figured for $5 on those can't go wrong. That Hulk 105 is also first missing link. Um, this is the grail that I picked up at the Comic-Con. Um, I've been after this book for a long time. This is a pretty nice copy of Fantastic Four 21, first appearance of the hate monger. You see him there, he's in like a purple clan outfit. Um, he is unmasked and revealed to be Adolf Hitler, or possibly um, one of Adolf Hitler's lookalikes. But uh, I thought that was really cool, I love that character. I don't think there's any spec there, honestly, I don't see... Marvel having the balls to do anything with uh, Hate Monger, but I don't know. I hope they prove me wrong. I think it'd be awesome. A um, couple, these are more con grabs. These three comics, I think I paid seven total for all three. Um, Akira number 20, number 22, and 29. And, um,. Yeah, I already have all the hardest issues to get. I just, I do need a one and a couple stragglers. So getting close to completing that run. And then just have some random keys that I picked up from the con uh, that I went to. Um, this is G.I. Joe's America, America's Elite. Um, number five, this is first art germ work. It's on the interior. Published artwork um, by Archer. And then I got Blade, um, the Vampire Hunter 3. This is from the series that he's kind of getting hyped on for the um, movie. Most of these were, none of these were really over a dollar. Um, a lot of them were 50 cents and even 25 cents, some of them. Um, Justice League Europe, uh, 33. This is like kind of tied for one of the first appearance of Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a big, uh, in the middle, several page comic of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, keep an eye out for that. Um, Batman Arkham Knight. I think it was this book and Doomsday Clock number one. I got another copy of that and it was $3 for the two of them. This is first appearance of Arkham Knight. Uh, it's really cooled down. It was hyped up because I guess... They were getting introduced in continuity. Um, but I wanted it still. And we got uh, What the 
Number 20, this is First Pork Rind, who is basically um, Peter Porker's version of Venom Pork Rind, and this is his first appearance. Nice copy. Um, Action Comics, number 598, first appearance of Checkmate. Beautiful cover, really nice shape. Uh, I'm happy to find this one. I think I spent my last dollar at the con on this book. Just the last of the money I brought to spend, I mean. Um, Secret uh, Batman villain, Secret Files and Origins, number one. Beautiful Brian Boland cover. Been uh, looking for this for a while. Happy to find it in the, in the bins. Um, shout out to Mercenot. Guys, if you're not watching his channel, I'm sure you are, but if you're not, check it out. He's been showing this book for a while. Um, Spirits of Vengeance, number nine. It's the first appearance of Vengeance, and it's a newsstand copy. I've been picking this one up for a while, and the first appearance of the guy that becomes Vengeance, but now I'm only grabbing the newsstands when I see him. So, let's see. This is more stuff from the con. The uh, Ultimates number two. This is the first time that you see Nick Fury drawn like um, Sam Jackson. Uh, also, this run is amazing. Volume one and two specifically written by Mark Miller. Some of my favorite stuff uh, ever. He's really, I think it really influenced the MCU. If you haven't read it, guys, check it out. Um, Vampirella. Number five, beautiful Jenny Friesen cover. It's got the moths from the uh, Silence of the Lambs. Um, movie poster, I believe. The Death's Head moths, it looks like. Uh, another one. I do have most of the of these, but this was one of the um, Jenny Friesen covers I needed. So happy to grab that. It's number six. One of my favorite um, artists, Greg Horn, back from when he was doing um, more regular work, you know, that wasn't store exclusives and stuff. And I have a bunch of his, of multiples from this run and She-Hulk, but I when I find a nice cover, I usually got to grab it. Great Miss Marvel cover with her costume and tatters. And um, here we have Wildstorm Swimsuit 97. Um, beautiful cover. I'm going to try and say this guy's name and probably say it wrong. I should have looked it up. Uh, Chioido. But um, I know I mentioned last time I showed a cover. I think it was for Marvel Fanfare. And I mentioned Spidey Fan had been showing some of his stuff in halls. And that's kind of how I got hip to him. So um, check out Spidey Fan. And uh, pick up this guy's stuff if you find it. Um, X-Men 2 was my favorite uh, X-Men movie. I mean, out of the actual X-Men movies, not including like Logan or Deadpool. And specifically, Nightcrawler was a real standout for me. So I thought this was a really cool pickup, really cool photo cover. So I had to grab it. It's also in pretty nice shape. Uh, Agent X, this is number four, um, Udon, cover art, pretty cool, uh, Funny Books, grab this for me, so shout out to Funny Books, and I got a bunch of Jurassic Park comics here, guys, um, these are not, this is not all from, that was, that kind of ends the con stuff, and this is stuff I had been sitting on for a little while, um, Jurassic Park Zero. This one can be a little hard to find. It only was available packaged with this trade paperback, which is also kind of hard to find. But I um, found both of them in the dollar bin right next to each other. They were no longer in the poly bag. I think they came back together. Um, but, yeah, really cool cover on Zero. And, you know, if you're like a completionist, uh, which I am, it's nice to get that zero issue. And it's bloody. 
Um, so and then we got issue number one. And I have a couple doubles of these. Okay, so I think like one of these is the newsstand. And one of them was direct or or I guess this is the collector's edition. I'm not 100% sure, but so I believe that's the same issue. And then I got issue number two here. I think I have a doubles of number two. And this is an also this is the other color cover, I guess, for number two. Number three. And another number three, so I guess that's the collector's edition of three. And we got number four here. Special collector's edition. So I guess I don't have a missing maybe one cover for four, it looks like. And then Raptors Attack. This series can be a little harder to find. And can go sometimes go for money, especially as a set. Um, beautiful cover art. So that's Raptors Attack number one. Number two. Another number two there. And number four. So it looks like I need a number three. Now, you'll notice this is the same cover as the book I just showed. Here, I'll show it again. So, uh, this is Jurassic Park Raptors Attack number four. And then you see this is Jurassic Park Adventures, same exact cover. Um, so I'm not exactly sure if this is a reprint or what. I didn't look into it, just grabbed it. And it was a newsstand also. And um, Jurassic Park Adventures eight, also a newsstand. I'm um, not again. I'm not sure if that's maybe reprints or what. Um, here we go. And this is another. This is a Raptor mini series, a two issue mini. Um, normally, I don't keep my books in poly bag. I like to take them out, but I did already have one that I took out, so I figured I'd grab one still in poly, just keep it in there. And then this is the. Issue number two for that Raptor series. And then last Jurassic Park book. That return to Jurassic Park number one. New stand, so that's cool. Now I got some horror books to show. Um, oh, these were priced books as well. These uh, two, these were be each five bucks. Um, I got Night of the Living Dead issue one and four. And I got the um, platinum variants here, as you see that. And they do have their certs. And this one, as you can see, is signed by the writer of Night of the Living Dead, Joe Russo. There's a poster in here behind the COA, signed by him, which is very cool. And that's issue four. And then these were all um, dollar or less finds. Uh, this is Fright Night 8, a photo cover. I really want the other one, the kind of companion to this where he's a vampire. Uh, I didn't even know there was a Rocky Horror Picture Show comic, but Makes sense uh, that there is, and Caliber Comics, too, seems like it makes sense to do it. Um, cool photo cover with Dr. Uh, Frankenfurter, I think is his name. Tim, The late, great Tim Curry. And this is, I, I keep finding this book. I think people don't know to look for the painted cover. They know the other cover. Um which is on the back of this issue. Uh, there are two covers for 36. This is the first Alien vs. Predator. And 
We got a Nightmare on Elm Street here, number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Happy to grab those. Most of those were from the 50 cent bin, if I recall correctly. Some of the first books I found at a con that I went to. And we got, um, I showed in some previous videos, I did find the first series, the first Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. And um, this is the, I guess, the second series, The Nightmare Warriors. So I found the first one, Freddy cover. And then I found issue two um, with Jason. And this is, and I also got issue three, and these are connecting. So that's very cool. We got Jason Goes to Hell from Tops. These were all polybagged. Mm. And they came with cards as well. Which I also have kind of in their own sleeve in there so they don't stick together. Jason Goes to Hell 2. And 3. And I think this one had the coolest card of the bunch. At the end, that they had uh, Freddy's clawed glove grab the grab the hockey mask and set the stage for Freddy vs. Jason. Which was very cool. Um, Jason X, I didn't think I had this, but I guess this is a double for me, actually. Okay. Getting close to the end of the horror, and then a couple cartoon comics, and then uh, we're done. So we got Friday the 13th here. This is how I spent my summer vacation, number one. And then this is uh, just, I guess, from the Friday the 13th series, number three. Number five. Halloween. The First Death of Laurie Strode, number one, painted cover. And that's it for the horror section. A couple kind of valuable um, cartoon books and video game books and stuff in here. Um, this I actually found two of, and I really regret not buying the other one. I didn't know it was the final issue, and it was newsstand. So that would have been a great grab to get a second one of those, but um, I, did, I think I only, you know, it was one of the ones I was missing, so I only grabbed one. But yes, that is the final issue of Toxic Crusaders, number eight, and the new stand, so harder to come by. I think um, when I, I looked on eBay, I don't think there were any sold listings, but the one, um, they were like 25 bucks, I think they were asking. Uh, Ren and Stimpy, this is the final issue, newsstand, issue 44. And then I got 43 here, also newsstand, second to last issue. So really happy to get both of those in newsstand. Shout out to Strange Blade, he kind of put those on my radar as being rare books to keep an eye out for. Um, here's one I grab, like every time I see it... Um, do I have only two here right now? Ren Stimpy number six, where uh, Spider-Man versus Powder Toesman. Big shout out to AB Comics on Instagram. Um, I got these from him. I think these were about five a piece and then five shipping. This is Gargoyles issue number five, a newsstand. And I also got number six, newsstand from him as well. Really good guy to do business with, great deals. Let's check them out if you're on Instagram, guys. That's AB Comics. Um, this I don't know about. Some I, I remembered seeing this. 
I don't know. But uh, I thought maybe I saw someone show this before as the first appearance of Bart Simpson in comic books. It's from like 1991, and it's um, like an English edition of a uh, Spanish comic. So, I don't know. I grabbed it. If anybody knows if that's something, it, uh, let me know. It could be nothing. Um, this was cool. I found this in the dollar bin at my LCS. Um, it is the IDW series for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. And it is the Jetpacks Comics exclusive. Um, and there's an air variant for this. I looked it up. It's basically one is a little more red. One is a little more orange. That's the only difference. And I could not tell if this was it or not. Um, it just lo it was too close to tell. So, but it wasn't a huge difference in price. But figured store exclusive number one. Had to grab it. Um, got another Darkwing Duck. Uh, I know this was from the con because it's got the blue there. That's what they do at this one booth. 50 cent bins. Or I guess the kids' uh, books are a buck. So that was a buck. Another nice nice copy of that newsstand. And I got issue four too, which I think I was actually missing a nice copy of. I think I still need issue number three, but I have a ton of issue number one. And most of them are newsstand. Um, this is a hard book to find in the wild. Um, so I grabbed all three. I think there's an issue four. That might be wrong. But one of these is one of the more rare. If you can find it with the DC Universe, apparently it's like one of the most rare DC Universe variants. Uh, I forget which one it is off the dome. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego number one? And this is specifically, it says based on the computer game, so maybe that was before the, the show was on. I remember the game show a lot. That's number two. And three. So, happy to have those. These, I remember, were in a 25 cent bin at a con. A lot of these Harvey books, um, Crash Dummies, number one. And I showed number two before. I have a copy of it, but I definitely grabbed that as well. So, really happy with those. These were also from that 25 cent bin. Very happy. Um, Wild West Cowboys at Moob Mesa. And also another number one there. I don't know if one is a mini, one is an ongoing, um, or a one-shot or what. So, but I remember that cartoon and the figures were cool. Um, this I got for one dollar. It's uh, Wacky Races number one. So I thought that was cool, like Hanna Barbera. Blah, excuse me, Hanna Barbera. Um, and that, yeah, I remember that game. And I think there was even a Dreamcast game for that, if I remember correctly. Um, I showed on Instagram, I found a ton of these uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comics that I wanted. They were almost all about two bucks a pop. Um, no newsstands or anything, but I did uh, get this, which is kind of a hard-to-find book. I got two of these. It's the comic book adaptation of the movie, uh, Black Cover. So, harder to get in high grade. And these are really nice copies, so happy to find those. Now, you guys know I've shown some Jessica Rabbit stuff like the in the past. Um, but, this, I gotta say, Dexter's mom is right up there for me. Um, so, I did see this, and she was on the cover. I had to grab it. Love Dexter's mom. And I uh, got another copy of Dinosaurs. Um, I think my other copy is actually really nice as well. So these are both pretty nice. My issue two definitely needs an upgrade, but I love that. Uh, so I've watched a lot of that show when it was on. And here are the last books, guys, and then we're done. Last stack. So where are we at? 25 minutes. 
That's still way longer than I would have liked, but... Um, so we got Care Bears, 18. This is not the final issue, but it's towards the end of the run. These books are really hard to find. I have found very few Care Bear books. Um, and it's newsstand. I think uh, Funny Books was telling me, I think around 85. Um, after 85 is when newsstands became more rare. And before that, I think directs were more rare or something. I, you know, don't quote me on that, but, um, I believe that's what he said. So, you know, newsstand's not always the best, but, um, yeah, this was definitely happy to find a decent, decent copy. And Captain Planet, I already have a few of these, but I don't know if I had, um, newsstands. And so I got two pretty nice newsstand copies. Couldn't leave those behind. And I got that Mando Fever, baby. Got that Mando Fever. So I had to grab some uh, Mandalorian stuff. And this is a Boba Fett cover. And got a Django Fett cover there. And that's going to be the last book of this haul. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for getting us to 200 subscribers. And contest coming soon. Feel free to give me any input on what you'd like to see out of the contest in the comments see you guys soon follow the instagram later